Hi, my name is Aaron Armstrong. Uh, I'm going to be going over how to format a Word document in Chicago style, specifically on Windows, hopefully in as few takes as possible and with as little editing as possible. Uh, here we go. So, as you can see here, I'm about to open a Word document. Just click on blank document. This will take you into the actual uh, Word program, right? Um, I have a lot of things set up because I use this all the time, so uh, I'm going to go through all the default settings that I have hopefully to help solve any problems here. Uh, so you know how to do it. Uh, first thing is Times New Roman font and 12 point font is the standard. Generally, obviously, your specific needs may vary. You also want to do double space here. Um, and those are two of the really big things to start with. Um, we're going to generate some text here, just some Laura Mipson text. So we got a bunch of pages there. Um, Next thing to know about Chicago style text is it should be double spaced. Like I said, so control A, you're going to double space all of this. You also want to remove lines, space after paragraphs. Now they have an extra gap here, which is uh, not really what we want, but that's fine. We'll erase some of these. Uh, next up, in terms of formatting, is going to be paragraphs. I'm going to do all this or else it's going to bother me. Than I thought. All right, so let's format some paragraphs. So again, you've got all this text. Uh, you can do this before you actually type stuff in, but we'll just do it afterwards. Uh, again, Control A, select all. Uh, you then go to paragraph indentation. You want to go special, first line. This will make it so that every single paragraph has one indentation at the very first sentence. Um, which you can also do by just hitting the tab button, but then you have to do it on every paragraph, and this just makes it standard across the document. So there we go. So we have font, we have double spaced, we have indented. Next up, what you want to do is um, you want to get rid of all these spelling errors. You want to um, include page numbers on your document. So what we're going to do first. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get a title page because that is uh, another part of Chicago style formatting is you need a title page. So I, I just moved the text down a page. Um, the way to get your page numbers formatted is you double click the header up here. That'll get you the header menu. You want to go to page number, top of page, plain number. We're going to change some other things here in a moment, but what you want to start with is start on page two, and you want to, before the page number, write your last name. Your last name, apparently I can't spell that. Last name, space, page number, right? That will then, once you double click off on the rest of the page, that will just set it up so you have a page that'll, uh, page numbers that'll add up as you go along. However, on title pages for Chicago style, you don't want page number at all. So you want to double click on that header again. Different first page. Okay, so that's good. Except for Chicago style, you also want the first body page of your paper to be page number one. So the way to do that is you go back to page number, you go down to format page numbers, start at zero. That will then make your title page page zero, but because you have different first page selected, it won't actually do that number. And then last name one, last name two, etc. on and on. Um, again, you can save all these defaults by just clicking the drop-down menu and set as default. Um, I'm kind of surprised mine's not set as default for all these things, but anyway. Um, yes, so next thing will be uh, your actual title page content. Um, title page content is centered. Uh, you will then have a title and subtitle. I usually try to make these kind of catchy and fun, but you don't have to. Um, you then will have your, again, centered. Bear with me one moment. Um, when you're centering the information on the title page, make sure you get rid of that first indentation, because otherwise it will actually not be centered. Uh, anyway, uh, on the title page, you then want to have, generally, I say have a couple um, spaces here. Uh, before you actually include your information, um, which is, would be name, student number, course code, and these obviously uh, vary by 
department, school, instructor, etc. But instructor name, possibly a TA name, um, the date of submission, and maybe a word count. Again, a lot of these are up to interpretation of your specific instructors or graders. Um, uh, there might be other stuff they want as well. You then want to make sure that this first page of your body, um, the first body page, starts on the first line there. So you don't want to have it spaced down. You don't want to have anything else there. Um, next up, let's do really quickly a bit of uh, other form for uh, citation formatting. So we'll actually go back to the top here, and let's say this is a quote. So uh, if your keyboard's on the right thing, we'll say this is a quote. Um, in Chicago style, your period goes on the inside of the quotation marks, and then you will do a superscript number, which is um, generally, I prefer footnotes. Some people use endnotes, but you can go into the References tab and select Insert Footnote, or the shortcut is Alt Control F. But, um, this will give you uh, your first footnote in this case, and then you would do citations. I'm not going to go over citation style here, um, but this would be your footnote citation. Footnote citation. Uh, your footnote citation, including the number, needs to be indented one line, and then the second line will be uh, back to the regular indentation, much like your paragraphs. You then want to proceed onward, write the rest of your paper, settle your stuff, and you have at the very end a bibliography. So, go back home here. I generally like to center my title for the bibliography. Again, make sure you remove that indentation. And then go bibliography, unlike other uh, citation styles like MLA or APA. MLA, anyway. Um, MLA is work cited, Chicago style is bibliography. You want your content to be left justified, but I normally get the, like the bibliography title uh, centered. And then sometimes I will underline and bold it just to make sure it stands out and gives a little bit of a break. It's also probably a good idea to do a separate page, although again, that really depends on your specific instructor's um, instructions. You'll then do your uh, bibliographic citations. So whatever it is, um, uh, last name, first name, uh, period, title, period, publishing city, Publisher, uh, comma, date, uh, year is normally fine. Uh, that's obviously not a full fleshed uh, citation, but just so we have space here. In terms of longer citations, which you want on the bibliographic entries, I'm just going to copy a bunch of random text here to copy. We'll put that as the title, actually. Um, this is the title of this fake. Thing that I'm citing. Um, for bibliographic entries, instead of first line formatting, you actually want it to be uh, hanging indentation. So that looks like this. Um, and then you do that for every single one, and you want your bibliographic entries to be uh, organized alphabetically. Um, I think that's the main points I want to hit here. Um, Beyond that, again, everything falls on your instructor and what their specific expectations are. But generally, this is the way that you would um, format a Chicago-style paper. Thank you very much. Hopefully, hopefully this was helpful.